I mean, I grew up thinking that chiropractic was for bad backs. That was my belief system, right? And then I went to a chiropractor, and I didn't have any back pain. I went there with a problem totally unrelated to my back, and I got help. And that made me question my belief system. And I thought, if chiropractic's for back pain, and I didn't have any back pain, but he helped me with my problem, that belief system mustn't be true. Well, why is that? So I started studying the body. Before I ever went to chiropractic school, I bought books and had them sent to my house, and I read them. And it taught me that the spine was a conduit as my spinal cord ran through. My brain sat up here, and my spinal cord came down through my spine, and between each of the bones of my back, it sent a nerve out. And those nerves would go out to all the parts of the body and control everything. And then I started reading research that says if the spine is distorted or twists, or if the curves that are supposed to be in the spine aren't in the spine, it can traction the spinal cord, and it can cause all these health problems. And I started studying and studying and studying, and I thought, wait a second. A healthy spine is vital to being healthy because if my spine isn't lined up properly and moving properly, it could damage my nerves and it could cause the wire, the nerve to my kidney or my lung or my liver or my heart or my intestines or my legs or my hands or my eyes or my mouth not to work right. And it changed my belief system. That belief system that chiropractic was for bad back, the legs on it got real weak and it collapsed. And this new belief was made up that says chiropractic is part of living a healthy, constructive life. Not because I was brainwashed or I bought into some new religion. Because I went to peer-reviewed reference research articles and I studied them and read them. And there's all kinds of people out there that have never read a lick of research about the relationship between the spine and the nerve system and health. And they make these outlandish comments to people about it. And they talk about it like it's true. And I'll say, which book did you read that in? What reference journal did you, did you get that article from that said that chiropractic care doesn't benefit children? Can I see that article where you read that? Well, I don't know. I, it, I just, I just uh, um, that. oh, I'm sorry, because my patient came in and said that you told him that that was bad for children, and I figured that you must have had some sort of research or some sort of published literature to support your opinion. <laughs> 